TCG player recently posted an article listing the top 20 best selling cards. And I thought it'd be interesting to go through the top 10 and see what kind of trends we can see based on this data. The writer sorted the data by unique purchasers, which means no matter how many copies someone bought, it only counted as one purchase. If you want the full article, I've linked it in the description below. Starting off with number 10, we have Be Our Guest. This card is currently going for just under a dollar as an uncommon. This makes sense because Be Our Guest is a pretty common staple in any Amber deck in multiple copies. At number 9, we have Smash, which, just like Be Our Guest, is right under a dollar as an uncommon. I see Smash quite a bit in Steel decks, obviously not as much as Grab Your Swords, but Smash is a much cheaper card to play, hence being in the top 10. This card also comes in the Sapphire Steel starter deck, so I don't see it getting any more expensive. Number 8 is Hades Lord of the Underworld. At rare, this card comes in just under $2. This card sees some play in Amber decks, but it's generally in limited quantities if it's used. This one is a little bit of a shock to see in the top 10 most purchased cards, just because I don't think it's used in the majority of Amber decks. Contrast that with our number 7 card, Aladdin Heroic Outlaw, which is in the vast majority of Ruby decks. This card comes in at super rare, but does come in the Ruby Emerald starter deck. It is currently going for about $6, and again, no shock that this is on the top 10 as it's a great card and is one of the cheaper top-end cards in Ruby compared to Be Prepared or Maleficent Monstrous Dragon. At number 6, we have Elsa Snow Queen. This card is uncommon and comes in just above $2. Another card that is no shock to anyone that's been playing in the last few weeks that this is in the top 10 most purchased cards. This card offers great control and is perfect setup for one of Amethyst's best control payoffs, Elsa Spirit Winter. Coming in at number 5 is Beast's Mirror. This card is a common and is selling for a little above 30 cents. Besides a whole new world, this card is Steel's only real draw power, and since it's so cheap, I guess that's what's driving so many purchases. I do see this in many Steel decks, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on why this card is top 5 purchased. Number 4 is Maleficent Sorceress. This card is printed as a common and is going anywhere between 50 cents and a dollar. This card is a staple 4 of an Amethyst decks, allowing you to draw a card when she is played, and she has 3 costs so you can sing friends on the other side with her. Being a common and so commonly used is why she's in the top 4. Number 3 is Aurora Dreaming Guardian. She is a super rare going for about $3. She sees some play in Sapphire decks because of her ability to give your cards ward, but I wouldn't say she's in every Sapphire deck, and with her being a super rare, I'm surprised to see her in the top 3 most purchased cards. Number 2 is another Sapphire card in one jump ahead. This card is an uncommon selling for between 30 and 50 cents. This card is an often used ramp card in Sapphire decks, letting you put the top card of your deck into your inkwell face down. With this being one of the cheaper ramp cards for Sapphire, it's no shock to see this as the number two most purchased card. Speaking of not shocking, our number one card is Simba Protective Cub. This card is a common and comes in just around a dollar. This card is a must run in every aggro amber deck. This card provides the bodyguard ability as only a two drop letting you protect your other aggro cards. This card is probably going to be one of the most expensive commons and will stay as one of the most purchased cards in Disney Lorcana. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything you were expecting to see in this top 10 list that you were shocked that you didn't see.